After we've created groups from the grouper tab, we now have groups created on the groups tab. Within each group, we can see the keywords associated to that group. We can also create groups manually after the fact. So if we have a group we want to create, we can say group 1. For example, hit OK. Group 1 gets manually created. And you can add a huge list of groups here if you would like. You could also add keywords manually. So if we find group 1, we want to add some keywords. We can just say keyword 1. Hit OK. And now we can see keyword 1 is in group 1. So there's manual grouping options now available. You can add keywords manually as well. And you can also drag and drop keywords from certain groups into other groups. So if we see analysis, for example, and we want to add analyze keywords to the analysis group, one option is to type in analyze like so. We could simply select these keywords using control A on our keyboard, drag and drop them to the analysis group, and now you can see in the analysis group we have analysis and analyze keywords. Now you see the analyze group has no keywords so we could simply hit the delete key on our keyboard and that group is gone. Another really very powerful way to combine keywords we can see a lot of manage, management, manager, and managing. Let's say we wanted to combine those groups into one so we're going to take all those keywords in those groups and create one group that we will call management. So what I'm doing is holding the control key on my keyboard, selecting the three groups that I want to merge into the management group, dragging and dropping into the management group, and you will see when I let go that those groups will be deleted and all the keywords within those groups will be added to the management group. So there we go, I just released it. And now we can see, if we look here, management is the only group that exists. And if we type in managing, we can see those keywords were added to that group. So there's a lot of drag and drop functionality that's extremely useful for anyone building paid search campaigns. You can also do advanced things like assign destination URLs to the group level, for example, PPC campaign generator dot com when we do that we are assigning this URL to the keywords within that group so if we look at the advertising group they all contain PPC campaign generator dot com but if we had a specific landing page for advertising we look into the group now and we can see that the keywords inherit the group URL. So this is just a few things you can do for advanced users. This is completely optional, but it's very powerful if you need this functionality. Another thing you can do is assign parameters. So we have like custom parameter templates you can use, and you can also append them manually. If you have specific parameters like campaign name equals, and then you can just select this tell it what to do with the space, and it'll insert the campaign name when the campaign is generated. That campaign name in this example is PPC Demo. So drag and drop functionality, um, very advanced search button here, PPC, you know, we can do elements, and you can kind of filter it very quickly, easily, drag and drop your keywords into certain groups, drag and drop groups into other groups to merge them, and you can also add groups manually or keywords manually. So that's essentially the groups tab.